Hello, I am Father Irvin. Welcome to our parish church of St. Mary, Star of the Sea, here in Leith, Edinburgh, in Scotland. Once in a while, I would come to visit this church here since the lockdown, now empty. And as I look around, I can still figure out where each of our beloved parishioners are seated. Most often, these are identified favorite permanent seats. Just like many of us would usually stay in one place whenever we attend church services. And whenever I come around into this empty church, I always think and wonder how each and every parishioner are at this time. And I can only whisper my prayerful wish for each and every one of them. So as you can see, there are empty pews empty seats in an empty church but we know and we believe that never with an empty heart because somewhere wherever we are our hearts are always longing for God so whether inside of the church or in our homes God dwells because in every heart that long for God, God is there dwelling. So as we continue to gather, although virtually in this unprecedented time, but we are very much connected in terms of union and communion in prayer, in faith and hope. So we begin our praying together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, Blessedness of the just. Listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, especially in this time of pandemic, when we have recognized and acknowledged our sense of limitation, that indeed there are so many things that is totally beyond our control. Grant that those who thirst for you can always hope for what you have promised. That in this difficult time, we may not give up hoping and believing that indeed, in the end, all shall be well. Today, I would like to invite you to reflect with me on this beautiful prayer asking for guidance and deliverance from Psalm 143. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness, and righteousness come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one living is righteous before you. The enemy pursues me, he crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in the darkness like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me, My heart within me is dismayed. I remember the days of long ago, 
I meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you. I thirst for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord, for my spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I will be like those who go down to the pit. Let this morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. This prayer of the psalmist expresses the same longing that we have at the moment. But keeping our faith and confidence in God in this difficult time, it is the same faith as well that will help us and strengthen us in dealing with this lockdown and pandemic. And so we continue to persevere and endure in the Lord, in the God who loves us, as we entrust all our days unto Him. So may the Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.